Tools needed for installation are a 13 millimeter socket, a 14 millimeter wrench, a 15 millimeter wrench, a 15 millimeter deep socket, an exhaust hanger removal tool, and a half inch drive ratchet. Install time is two and a half hours. Install difficulty is a three out of five. Remove the five bolts and washers that secure the underbody brace, and then remove the brace. Remove the two nuts off the flange that attaches to the downpipe. These nuts may be rusted. Using PB Blaster or some other equivalent will help loosen them. Use an exhaust hanger removal tool to pull the front bushing brackets from the exhaust hangers. Swing the bushing brackets to the side and out of the way once you've separated them. WD-40 or some other lubricating spray should make the separation easier. Repeat the process for the rear hangers. Remove the two nuts behind the driver's side bumper that secure the rear exhaust bracket to the vehicle's frame. Then do the same for the bracket on the passenger side. Lower the exhaust from the vehicle. The exhaust system is long and awkwardly shaped, so it's best to have someone else on hand to help with its removal. Check the condition of the gasket to be sure it's not damaged or needs to be replaced before continuing. Place the gasket on the two struts extending from the flange on the downpipe. Take the front pipe with the flex joint and the flange from your kit and install it to the downpipe. Secure it with the two nuts supplied in your kit, making sure to align both flanges during the process. Snug both locking nuts, but do not fully seat them. Slide a clamp over the front pipe you just installed. Then install the mid pipe over top the open end on the front pipe. It is of most importance to leave all connections between pipes loose until later to allow for necessary adjustments during the installation. Slide a clamp over the mid pipe, then install the rear pipe, which has a hanger welded to it over top the open end of the mid pipe. Slip the hanger on the rear pipe through the adjacent bushing bracket. Lubricate the two rear bushing brackets. Then slide a clamp over the rear pipe and install the exhaust muffler with the Y-shaped piping to the open end of the rear pipe. Slip the hanger on the muffler through the bushing bracket on the passenger side. Slide a clamp over the driver's side of the exhaust piping and then install the other muffler. There is a hanger attached to the muffler which will go through the second bushing bracket lubricated in the previous step. Organize the two exhaust tips in your kit so they are positioned as though they were attached to the vehicle, each one with their hangers facing upward. Slide the driver and passenger side brackets over the hangers on each tip assembly. The brackets are labeled rear face right hand for the passenger side and rear face left hand for the driver side. Lubricate the rubber grommet on the bracket to help with this step. Slide a clamp over the driver side exhaust and connect the tip assembly. Then lift the exhaust system and tip assembly upward and slide the bracket over the bolts behind the bumper. The exhaust tip should fit into the available slot on the bumper. Repeat this process for the passenger side tip assembly. Snug the clamps between the tip assemblies and exhaust pipes. Adjust the spacer in each clamp to ensure it's aligned properly before you tighten them, or else they will not close as needed. 
Secure the rear exhaust brackets on both the driver side and passenger side using the original hardware. Check all pipe connections to ensure they are properly seated. Now that all your clamps are snug, return to the tips and adjust them as you see fit. Mishimoto recommends tightening the exhaust clamps to 60 foot-pounds. Afterwards, go back to all the clamps and use a ratchet to tighten them completely. Fully tighten the two nuts that secure the flanges. Reinstall the underbody brace using the original hardware. Once bolted in, check to see if the exhaust pipe is in contact with the brace. If so, loosen the clamps and adjust the piping until the two are no longer touching. Also, ensure the exhaust piping is not in close contact with the drive shaft. If it is, Adjust the piping to move it away. After about 100 miles of driving, recheck the clamps and make sure all are still tight. They can sometimes loosen due to heat, especially when used for the first time. 